Hi guys, my name's John Dean. Um, just wanted to do this quick video on Photoshop Elements, um, which is a reduced version of um, the professional version of Adobe Photoshop, which you've all heard of. Um, the advantage of Photoshop Elements is it has a lot of great features that are really useful um, to build your business, um, but it doesn't come with the hefty um, uh, subscription fee, monthly subscription fee that comes along with the Adobe Creative Cloud suite. My aim with this video is to show you some of the features of Photoshop Elements. Photoshop Elements allows you to create great looking video thumbnails um, with relative ease uh, and also it allows you to scale down images, compress images um, to then upload to your website. Um, obviously we all want our websites to run as fast as we can um, so scaling down those images really helps um, and you can do that right within Photoshop Elements as well. Um, so really useful tool that I personally love uh, so I just wanted to share with it with you today. So Let's dive onto my computer and I'll show you around. Okay, guys, now we're in Photoshop. I'm going to um, launch uh, a new document and uh, we're going to create a thumbnail. So let's go for it. New blank file. Um, usually I select, I like to go to film and video and then I select 1080p 1920 by 1080p. Um, sorry, by 1080, um, and that's the standard resolution for HD, so that's a good st sort of starting place. Uh, so we go with that, um, and then what we want to do is, usually I go over to Unsplash, um, I've just searched for this image, uh, found this, and I thought I'd use that, like, that'd be great um, for, this, uh, for this tutorial. Um, so I'm going to place it in uh, Photoshop so I've already downloaded it and it's there so I'll place it in um, and there we go so I'm going to expand it out first of all just to sort of fill the entirety of the screen uh, click the tick button and then what I'm going to do is go over and find the Photoshop elements um, logo and use that Okay, there we go. Uh, so the easiest one to use is probably this one here. Um, so I'm just going to click on it. Uh, and then I'm going to copy image and that will go straight, should go straight into Photoshop, which it has. Um, and then uh, a powerful, um, a powerful part of Photoshop Elements is actually being able to cut round things, um, which is another great advantage. So um, it all comes with that. So uh, and that's quite useful for uh, this type of thing. So um, this little tool here, you've actually got different sort of uh, versions of that, but I like to go for this uh, quick selection tool. Um, and basically, you click on that, and it's selected everything uh it's selected the logo and now i'm going to cut cut it out basically so i'm going to hit command shift and i uh and then hit delete oh and that's not quite done in what i wanted to do um so i think what i'm going to do is adjust that i'm going to hit command d to deselect um and then I'm probably just going to use the magic wand tool here and selecting it that way. Um, so now I hit delete and it's cut it out nicely. Um, and then I'm going to expand it. Uh, it keeps it within scale. If you want to sort of shift the uh, sort of scale of the image, if you want to make it wider, you can hold down shift. But I wouldn't recommend that. It's best to um, best to keep it in scale. So it does that by default without having to hold anything down. Um, so basically, yeah, I'm going to expand that to where I want it to be. Um, click tick. Um, I'm probably going to just go like that and jazz it up a bit. Um, and then I'm going to put some text down. So I'll apply trans transformation on that. Uh, give it a second. OK, um, that's great. So then I'm going to go to the text tool uh, and then put it in capitals and go for create. How to create. Stunning thumbnails in 
close this shop. Okay, so hopefully that's right. Obviously it's too small at the moment, so I'm gonna select it, Command A, uh, and then I'm gonna expand the, uh, obviously make the graphic bigger. So we go with about 300, no, too big, 150, let's try that. The leading needs to be changed. It's uh, if we set it to auto um, and then we'll go for that. Uh, now we're going to make it bold. Now I do like Helvetica. Helvetica light is pretty cool, um, but it's a bit thin. Basically with fonts, I always try and use like a bold font where you can because it just comes across that you've been you're well established you know what you're talking about uh, things like that whereas thin wishy-washy sort of fonts um, don't have that same impact so uh, for instance if we were to go to something like that for instance it doesn't quite look as good um, well, it definitely doesn't look as good and um, basically it doesn't have that same sort of strong feel to it uh, suggesting to the person watching that you know what you're talking about. So I like to go for a nice bold, bold font. So typically I go for um, Arial Bold uh, and, oh, that's, is that the right one? Arial Bold, Arial Black, sorry, I tend to go for. Um, okay, and then really it's a case of just playing around with it. So I think what I'm gonna do is, we need it clear here. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the font to another font I like to use, which is Helvetica uh, Ultra Light. Bam. Um, now I said about bold fonts, but actually this one is also, whilst it's not bold, it's still got that sort of strong feel to it. Uh, what I might do is make it bigger uh, or bold there um, and then I'm probably gonna I'm just gonna play around with this really uh, to get it in the right place so I think what I'll do is I'll do that I'm quite happy with it there just trying to figure out where is best I'm going to increase that because I think that word is quite strong. No, I go for 200. Uh, and then we need to add the word elements because it's an elements thing. It's not a professional version. And then what we do is we move we move him over um, and we're probably going to just expand him out a bit to keep that blue behind us. And then I think what I'm going to do well, first of all I need to put video as well in actually. Um, what we can do is play with, um, what we can do actually is, uh, I'll show you another feature of, of Photoshop. You can uh, basically, we can, if we duplicate this layer uh, and then we go to a layer mask, um, turn this layer off, uh, and I'll turn the text off for now. I'm then going to um, create what's called a gradient. Uh, which is another powerful feature of, of Photoshop Elements and Priority. Um, so do that. Uh, we'll turn everything back on and see whether... Oh. Okay, how to create stunning video thumbnails in Photoshop Elements. Okay, um, that's not looking too bad.
quite like that sort of uh, effect in the background. Uh, I've got both layers going, but I'm going to turn it off. Um, and actually, yeah, I'm not liking the gradient there, so um, just going to keep it like that, I think. So let's turn off the gradient one, move that over. Uh, get the end, I'm going to expand it out. And there we go. Um, let's move it down slightly so it's not too high up. There we go. How to create stunning video thumbnails in Photoshop. So that's done. Um, and then we go to save. Uh, and then first of all, we need to save the actual document itself. So thumb for now, I'll call it. Um, and then we need to export it for uh, as a JPEG, which is basically uh, a photo format uh, that every photo basically is, is in usually. Um, so we go to file, save as for web or save for web. So what we're going to do now is export it off. Um, so we go to JPEG, uh, we hit quality 60 um, and then click save. Uh, we go then to desktop. call it thumb and there, there it is it's saved okay um now that's a useful feature actually because um well say say this is a file you've downloaded um from unsplash which it basically is but we've edited it slightly um what you can do is uh, use that same tool to compress uh images so they are smaller for your website and you can then upload it and it doesn't weigh your uh, wordpress website down so um, we go to jpeg uh, and then we can lower the quality here to say even 30 isn't too bad. Click save um, and then we can call it thumb low res or something along those lines. And then click save and then I'll show you uh, what that's done is. So, uh, so for instance, we've got the original Unsplash photo is, is there uh, and that's 853 kilobytes. Um, the, the the thumbnail version that we originally exported at 60 is 197, so heavily compressed beyond that. Um, and also the low res version is only 97 kilobytes. And as you can see, it still looks fine. Um, so yeah, just wanted to show you that because it's a great tool um, if you do need to shrink your images before uh, uploading them to WordPress. Um, which again just means your site runs faster uh, overall. Okay, um, so hopefully guys that helped um, and showed you some of the great features of Photoshop Elements. As I say, um, Photoshop Elements on its own is only about £65 I think uh, from Amazon um, and um, you can also get uh, a bundle uh, with it um, uh, if you want paid a bit more for £95, if you pay £95, you uh, get Photoshop Elements and you get Premiere Elements, which uh, is a great video editing package as well. So typically I would advise getting both because then you've got the uh, flexibility there um, and they're both really powerful tools um, and uh, made by Adobe, who are obviously uh, industry professionals uh, with regard to these uh, these aspects. So um, highly recommend uh, those products. Um, and um, yeah, if you've got any questions, feel free to comment below. Uh, happy to help and uh, happy to, um, you know, uh, point you in the right direction if you get stuck with using Photoshop elements as well. So thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.